Welcome to Education Monday. This is the first video of our four part series where we cover previous year's exam questions with answers. In this series, we will go through 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 marks questions, helping you prepare efficiently. If you notice any missing questions, it means they were out of syllabus, so we have removed them to keep the things relevant. In this video, we will focus on 4 and 5 marks questions. So let's get started. Physics 4 and 5 marks questions with answers question number 13 a state two laws of reflection of light answer loss of reflection of light the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection the incident ray the normal to the mirror at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane question b write any two difference between concave mirror and convex mirror the two differences are here they have given four First, let's talk about concave mirror. Reflecting surface is curved inwards. Size of image may be small, big and equal to the to that of an object. Virtual and real images are formed. It is used in torches, searchlights and vehicles, headlights, shaving mirrors, etc. Next, convex mirror. Reflecting surface is curved outwards. Size of the image is always small and direct. Always virtual image is formed. It is used in the rear view side mirrors of vehicles. A. Explain an experiment of drawing magnetic field lines around a bar magnet with the help of a compass needle. Drawing magnetic field lines around a bar magnet using a compass needle. Place a bar magnet on a white paper and mark the boundary of the magnet. Then place the compass needle near the north pole of the magnet. South pole of the compass needle di directs towards the north pole of the magnet. Mark it a point. Next, move the needle to a new position such that its south pole occupies the position previously occupied by its north pole. Mark it with a point. In this way, proceed with step by step till you reach the south pole of the magnet. Join the points marked on the paper by a small curve. This curve represents a field of line. Let's go to next question. B. Mention two properties of magnetic field lines. Properties of magnetic field lines are Field lines emerge from the north pole of a magnet and merge at the south pole. Inside the magnet, the direction of the field lines is from its south pole to the north pole. Magnetic field lines are closed curves. Magnetic field lines is stronger where the field lines are crowded. No field lines are found to cross each other. You can add any two of them. For safe, write 3. Next, this is an, there is an optional question. A. Explain an experiment to show that a current carrying conductor experiences the force in the magnetic field. This space here is for B question, which we have removed. Answer. Take a small aluminium rod and suspend it horizontally using connecting wires. Place a strong horseshoe magnet in such a way that rod lies between the two poles with the magnetic field directed upwards. Connect the aluminum rod in the series with a battery, a key and a rheostat. Now pass the current through the aluminum rod in one particular direction. The rod displaces towards one side. Reverse the direction of the current flowing through the rod. The rod displaces towards the opposite side. Hence a current current conductor experiences a force perpendicular to its length in a magnetic field. Let's go to next question. What is resistance of a conductor? On what factors does the resistance of a conductor depend? Answer: Resistance of a conductor is a property that resists the flow of electron charges in the conductor. The resistance of a conductor depends on its length, its area of cross section, the nature of its material and temperature. B. It is advantageous to connect electrical devices in parallel instead of connecting them in series. Why? Explain. Answer. Parallel circuits divides the current through the electrical devices connected. This is helpful particularly when each device has different resistance and requires different current to operate properly. But in a series circuit when one component fails, the current is broken and none of the other components works. Next question. State the right hand thumb rule. Write any two properties of the magnetic field lines. Answer right hand thumb rule. 
when you are holding a current carrying conductor such that the thumb points towards the direction of current then your fingers will wrap around the conductor in the direction of the magnetic field lines of the magnetic field around the conductor in the direction of the field lines of the magnetic field properties of the magnetic field lines they emerge from north pole and merge at the south pole closed curves never intersect each other have magnitude and direction question b what is solenoid how can this be converted into an electromagnet answer solenoid a coil of many circular turns of insulated copper wire wrapped closely in the shape of cylinder is called a solenoid current carrying solenoid can be used to magnetize a piece of magnetic material like soft iron when placed inside the coil let's go to next question explain faraday's experiment related to the electromagnetic induction answer faraday made an important breakthrough by discovering how a moving magnet can be used to generate electric current take a coil of wire having a large number of turns connect the end of the coil to a galvanometer take a strong bar magnet and move its north pole towards the other end of the coil take a strong bar magnet and move its north pole towards the other end of the coil there is a momentary deflection in the needle of the galvanometer this indicates the presence of a current in the coil the moment when the motion of the magnet stops the deflection becomes zero then with withdraw the north pole away from the coil the needle of the galvanometer is deflected towards the left showing the current is now set up in the opposite direction to the first keep the north pole stationary near the coil and when coil is moved towards the north pole we see the galvanometer needle deflects towards right similarly the needle moves towards left when the coil is moved away when the coil is kept stationary with respect to magnet the deflection drops to zero it is thus clear that the experiment that motion of magnet with respect to coil produces an induced potential difference which sets up an induced electric current in the circuit now next question how does the eye accommodate to see far and near objects answer the eye lens is composed of a fibrous jelly like material its curvature can be modified to some extent by ciliary muscles the change in curvature of the eye lens can thus change its focal length when the muscles are relaxed the lens become thin thus focal length increases this enables us to see distant objects clearly and when you are looking at objects closer to the eyes the ciliary muscles contract this increases the curvature of the eye lens the eye lens become thin thicker consequently the focal length of the eye lens decreases this enables us to see nearby objects clearly now question b why do stars twinkle explain answer the twinkling of a star is due to atmospheric refraction of sunlight the starlight on entering the earth's atmosphere undergoes refraction continuously before it reaches the earth the atmospheric refraction occurs in on a medium of gradually changing refractive index since the atmosphere bends starlight towards the normal the apparent position of the star is slightly different from its actual position this apparent position is not stationary but keeps on changing slightly since the stars are very distant the approximate point sized source of light as path of the ray of light coming from the stars goes on varying slightly the apparent position of the stars fluctuates and the amount of starlight entering the eye flickers the star sometimes appears brighter and at sometimes some other times fainter which is twinkling effect now chemistry 4 and 5 marks questions with answers question a how silver and copper articles lose their shining surface how galvanization protects iron articles here the term articles refers to objects or items made of particular material for example silver and copper articles means objects made of silver and copper such as jewelry utensils and decorative items now let's go to answer 
silver articles when exposed to air reacts with sulfur to form a black layer of sulfur dioxide copper reacts with mo moist carbon dioxide in the air to form a green layer of copper carbonate layer of zinc formed by galvanization reacts with oxygen to form a layer of zinc oxide which prevents further oxidization next question b aluminum oxide is an amphoteric oxide by aluminum oxide reacts with both acid and base to form salt and water this is the reason why it is amphoteric oxide now question a write the balanced chemical equation of the for the following reactions reaction 1 calcium carbonate on heating produces calcium oxide and carbon dioxide reaction is this CaCO3 gives CaO and CO2 next reaction b burning of natural gas methane produces carbon dioxide and water this is second reaction CH4 plus O 2O2 gives CO2 plus 2H2O question b give reason articles made of copper lose their shiny surface when exposed to air an iron nail placed in copper sulfate solution slowly turns to brown color the reason is same as we mentioned before copper reacts with atmospheric air to form copper oxide cuo or copper carbonate cuco3 copper oxidizes copper undergoes corrosion and next for next question displacement reaction takes place and iron displaces copper from copper sulfate solution next question write the structures for the following carbon compounds first cyclohexane this is the structure of cyclohexane see six carbons 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 12 hydrogen and 12 hydrogens which makes cyclohexane in circular this is in circular model so it is cyclohexane next one is propanoic acid propen means 3 3 carbons 1 2 3 and oic acid means here c double oh this is propanoic acid structure now next question write any two difference between saturated and unsaturated carbon compounds first let's talk about saturated carbon compounds they have single bond between carbon atoms they are less reactive they burn with a clean flame and undergoes substitution and addition reaction now unsaturated carbon compounds one or more double or triple bond they are more reactive they burn with the yellow flame with black smoke and undergoes addition reaction you can write any two i prefer writing three now next let's enter biology 4 and 5 marks questions with answers here first question is which part of the human brain controls the following activities involuntary activities thinking process posture and balance of the body answer is for involuntary activities medulla for thinking process cerebrum and for posture and all cerebellum now question b what are phytohormones name the three phytohormones that promote growth chemical compounds that help to coordinate growth development and response of the environment are called as phytohormones phytohormones that promotes growth are auxins gibberellins and cytokinins there is an optional question name the hormones that control the following activities in the man regulating sugar level in blood regulating menstrual cycle preparing the body to face situations regulating the metabolism answer is for sugar insulin for menstrual cycle estrogen for sudden situations and all adrenaline and thyroxine for metabolism now b name any two tropisms that occurs in plants give an example for each answer phototropism growth of the shoot towards light geotropism growth of the root towards earth hydrotropism growth of the two roots towards water and chemotropism growth of the pollen tubes towards ovules you can write any two next question changes in the non reproductive tissues will not inherit by answer is because change in non reproductive tissue cannot be passed on to the dna of germ cells next question what is asexual reproduction name the type of asexual reproduction that takes place in planaria and rhizopus answer production of young ones without fusion of gametes 
is known as asexual reproduction and as for planaria regeneration and for rhizopus spore formation next question what is the role of testis and prostate gland in human male reproductive system testis production of sperms or male gametes and control of production of testosterone as for prostate gland it provides nutritional media for the movement of sperm cells by its secretion next question a briefly explain the formation of urine in nephrons formation of urine in nephrons is structural and functional nephron is a structural and functional unit of a kidney the thin walled capillaries are filtration units in the kidney each capillary clusters in the kidney associated with cup shaped structures of nephron and takes part in the filtration of blood in this stage some substances in the initial filtrate such as glucose amino acids salt and major amount of water are selectively reabsorbed the liquid byproduct that forms after this process is urine now question b how food materials are transported in higher plants explain food materials and are transported in higher plants by phloem phloem is a food conducting tissue phloem translocates soluble products to of photosynthesis amino acids and other substances from the leaves to all parts of the plants translocation takes place in c tube with the help of companion cell both in un- upward and downward directions osmotic pressure helps to move the materials from phloem to other tissues of the of having low pressure according to mendel what are the dominant traits and recessive traits answer dominant traits out of the two copies of each trait expressed visible character more in progeny is dominant trait and as for recessive trait out of the two copies of each trait does not res- express visible characters less in progeny is recessive trait question b what is dihybrid cross what is the ratio of a plant types obtaining in f2 generation of mendel's a dihybrid experiment dihybrid cross if parents showing two different characteristics are crossed then it is called dihybrid cross ratio is 9:3:3:1 to 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 next question a how does glucose converts into energy molecule during aerobic respiration what is the role of alveoli in the process of respiration answer in cytoplasm the glucose breaks down into pyruvate in mitochondria the pyruvate breaks down into carbon dioxide and water the energy released during the respiration is used to synthesize atp molecule so for explanation during aerobic respiration glucose undergoes oxidation in the presence of oxygen to produce atp adenosine triphosphate it is an energy molecule this process occurs in a total of three stages first is glycolysis where glucose is broken into two molecules of pyruvate in cytoplasm producing atp and nadh and next krebs cycle mean it it happens in mitochondria where pyruvate is further broken down into releasing co2 h2o and high energy molecules like nadh and fadh2 and next one is electron transport chain means etc and then adp plus p means adenosine diphosphate plus phosphate gives atp adenosine triphosphate the walls of alveoli contains network of the blood vessels provides a surface for exchange of gases next question b what are the different excretory what are the different excretory st- strategies found in plants answer plants get rid of excess water by transpiration many plants waste products are stored in cellular vacuoles waste products may be stored in leaves that fall off waste products are stored as resins and gums in old xylem for waste plants use tissues consisting of dead cells and that they lose some parts such as leaves plants also excrete some waste substances into the soil around them around them so this is the video of 4 and 5 marks questions in next video we will question we will discuss 3 marks questions thank you for watching